The art of descending is a skill that few in the peloton really grasp, but those that can use it with great effect. With marginal gains often determining the difference between first and tenth place, teams are looking at not only the kit, but also their riders. InCycle recently travelled to the training camp of Giant Shimano to join Oscar Saiz, a former downhill mountain bike racer and more recently training coach for Giant Bicycles. His role is to assess and advise riders' techniques in the hope that they can attack on the downhills as well as the climbs and flats. I think it's getting more and more important. We've seen during the last, I would say, five or six seasons, uh, there's, there are more guys that are quick down the hill and they take that advantage and they are probably attacking. My point of view is like I think besides the saving energy, for me it's a safety issue. I've, you know, I've seen those guys getting hurt, some of them very hurt, maybe it's a, you know, it's a career ending maybe sometimes, so I think it's, uh, it's, it's pretty extreme what they do. At 90 kilometers per hour, the likes of Nibali and Sagan can assess even the most finite details. Natural talent can go a long way, but Oscar believes many of the techniques can be taught. I think the important thing is like knowing how to read the road very quick and adapt to every single corner you find immediately. You need to guess what's coming next, what's the next corner going to be like. So that's also an ability you need to develop. So that is one. And then the rest is like, OK, how is this guy breaking on the bike? Is he having the right breaking skills? Is he having the right position on the body? And just only two or three basic messages that they can bring home to, to practice every day. Team giant Shimano pride themselves on nurturing talent through the ranks. It's training like this which helps riders reach their maximum potential. I feel that for me it's necessary to, to be a good descender because um, I'm not one of the best climbers in the peloton, so... Uh, Sometimes I have to take risks to come back to the first group. And uh, yeah, then it's very necessary to, to be good in the downhills. Technique training like we did today, it's really important for uh, every type of rider because uh, you can win uh, the race downhill or you can also lose it. I was a mountain bike before, so uh, it's, uh, it was fun for me and I really like this kind of stuff. Fun for some, terrifying for others. Danger is ever-present. Oscar Saiz and giant Shimano team coach Adrian Helmantel's goal is not necessarily to make their riders the next Samuel Sanchez, but to make them comfortable and acclimatised to descending at a reasonable pace. These small things can also make the difference. Uh, for example, if you are a uh, bad downhiller, it, you get stressed in the downhill, uh, you don't uh, take your time to eat and drink in the downhill, or even worse, you lose uh, time in the downhill. Reaching speeds in excess of 100 kilometers per hour is a feat that only a handful can manage. The best descenders in the peloton are the calculators, the obsessives, the ones who can manage risk. I think what they have different than the others is like they risk a little bit more than the others. That is true also. But they risk because they have also better skills. And uh, when you go on a training session for them, they're going quick. Bike setup can make a difference, but the invaluable experience and techniques that Oscar handed to these riders could very well change a race outcome this season. <laughs>